Hello, everyone. Uh, today it, we have a, a wonderful session, which is called Meet the Global Leader, episode 20. And we have our guest tonight. Uh, her name is Maya. Uh, she is uh, she has so many identities. Uh, which, uh, just I want to share a few of them, which is that she is a founder of a social project uh, named Challenge. She is also a, a social entrepreneur. She is a researcher. She is doing her PhD uh, on understanding of digital innovation in tourism sphere in Kazakhstan. And she is also uh, a, a volunteer with uh, so many different uh, youth organizations. Uh, she also attended uh, in different international events. Uh, currently, she is doing uh, uh, she's, uh, doing a she is working as a coordinator for Ban Ki Moon uh, Institute for Sustainable uh, Development. And she's also an active citizen of uh, British Council. She has so many identities, and we're going to hear her journeys of doing so many activities, doing her PhDs, and how she managed all those uh, tasks uh, by uh, doing that those huge tasks. So, uh, Maya, uh, how are you doing tonight? Uh, hello, Mahmoud. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm so happy to be here, and it's it's a great honor for me to uh, be invited by you and just taking the interview. And um, it's it's very great for me, uh, and I'm so happy uh, to share with my uh, social activities and other uh, points. Um, and oh, <laughs> I'm so excellent to share that. Great. And, uh, you know, the objective of our, uh, this program of Meet the Global Leader is, you know, a School of Entrepreneurship Development uh, scope is founded back in 2018. And since then, we, are, this, uh, we have been, you know, like organizing so many events locally and internationally, uh, online and offline uh, to share, you know, so many information and stories among our audience, uh, among young generation, uh, young people of Bangladesh. To you know how some people are you know like doing some change in their community you know like by being involved with so many different activities by being volunteering for different organizations with, and how they develop some skills and how they are doing right now in their community so it's just an experience sharing session and we school of entrepreneurship development uh, believe that for our audience tonight is going to get some extremely an amazing informative session from you. So Maya, can you uh, please introduce yourself uh, with us? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, as you mentioned before and presented myself, I'm a social entrepreneur, PhD student, and also a change maker who is just interested and involved in different international organizations. Uh, for example, yesterday I just took uh, my new position. It's the uh, director of uh, international relations in Young Peace and um, Leadership Organization, um, and it was a great honor to be a present and ambassador of uh, different international communities and uh, share with my own experience, knowledges with them. And uh, also, I'm just now concentrating on my PhD research and I'm just doing the, my social project, which name is Tourism and Smart Cities. Um, and uh, also, I just want to implement it in the practice and uh, get involved different uh, young leaders to support it and how to promote tourism in their countries. Amazing. And uh, what is your major like in, when you are in university? Uh, my major is innovation management. Also, for example, uh, when I just um, graduated the bachelor degree and took this, uh, it was uh, economics. And now master degree and PhD, what I'm doing now is on innovation management. Oh, that's uh, very excellent. So uh, what made you uh, involved with uh, so many uh, different organizations? And what was your motivation? Can you share your experience, like how many uh, volunteer organizations you uh, worked with and how many uh, international events you attended so far? Can you just, just uh, share us a bit about, uh, brief about your uh, involvement? Mm, I, I'm just involved in different organizations. I can say one big of them 
it's a, a one young world platform. As you know, it's a big community from different um, uh, countries from all over the world. And um, also it's a global impact network. Uh, I'm working there from this year. Uh, the next one is the Russian youth organization Kalinka. Uh, and of course, um, another one, uh, Russian organization and international community, it's Friends for Leadership, which is supported by Ross Congress and Ross Maladosh. Um, also, I'm working with a um, youth parliament organization, which is based on Pakistan. And um, another one, organization, um, what can I say? It's um, um, the Ban Ki Moon. <laughs> yeah, Ban Ki Moon Institute. In, uh, it's based in Kazakhstan. Uh, so I'm just <laughs> saying uh, about international organizations. Also, it's a Ban Ki Moon Institute for Sustainable Development. It's a, uh, as you know, the main center is focused in uh, Korea, but we have another one, Philal and. Um, for example, Mr. Pan Ki Moon just came to our uh, university and just signed the agreement between uh, our university and um, his organization. And so uh, he's uh, he's just shared with his name and um, launched his uni institute there in Kazakhstan in Almaty. And so, uh, this institute is so young. Yeah, <laughs> it's only two years. Um, but during this uh, period, we just realized a lot of um, events and uh, conferences. And if you are just interested, you are, <laughs> you can join us. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah, we will explore that later. So, uh, what 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 were the skills you developed? You know, like by uh, being involved with those uh, community organizations, uh, local one, international. Uh, in short, I mean, what were the skills you developed? Uh, the first skill is about uh, its responsibility, of course, when you are a hard worker and you just responsible for what you are doing. Uh, because if you are just not, uh, you say a lot, but <laughs> nothing to do, it's not so good for our organizations and for to others, of course, to our business partners. And um, first of all, when you are, it's, it's the best way when you are say something and it's, you show it on the deal. It's really <laughs> amazing. Oh, that's great. Uh, and the thing that you're doing right now with uh, different organizations, uh, your PhD and your social uh, social uh, youth organization, uh, all those, how you are creating positive impact in your society? Uh, impact, uh, how I can just, uh, explain it uh, because before um, uh, I've just concentrated on the youth, on young generations, students, pupils, um, because to grow up their awareness, uh, everything starts from them, from young generation. If we can grow the awareness and we can change their mind that uh, we can change this world, we can save the planet and um, it will be a great opportunity after 10, 15 years. And uh, we will not be in a scare, for example, uh, to our next generation, how they will live, how they will survive in this world. Because we see that uh, there are a lot of problems, but nobody can change it. And they said, somebody will do this. It's not the best way. We see the, the problems like climate change. Uh, we see their poverty, um, education. And there are a lot of SDGs which we can re uh, realize. Yeah, it's something called you know, ownership that is my responsibility to do this task for that task that can you know like create an impact in the society. Uh, that's how we basically as an organization uh, came up with the idea, you know, like uh, bringing different expertise uh, in uh, under one platform, you know, to and then uh, create a positive impact in the society by sharing, you know, like uh, helping uh, young people to develop some skills, uh, sharing mm -hmm. some knowledge and sharing some, you know, like some, uh, doing some learning events so that they can get information and they can, you know, uh, implement the ideas they hear from uh, those events. So yeah, that's amazing. 
uh, wait there is a comment there is a comment uh, and one of our audience is asking mohammad amanullah aman he is basically the ceo of our organization he has a question how your initiative contribute to the social development uh, of course uh, to the social development um, as i said my initiative is to implement the social project uh, mm -hmm. one of them is challenge it's a, a educational social project and, and another one is tourism and smart cities i'm making the webinars and trainings uh, on uh, for example now um, i've just made uh, according for a, um, social project challenge on education topic I just made more than 50 master classes and trainings. I just started in 2017. And um, I, of course, I just made trainings on in urban areas uh, for uh, students and pupils who haven't got any access uh, to, um, to, for example, or to study at universities and they haven't got any opportunities to know more about grants and um, other opportunities, challenges, what's happening, for example, in uh, big cities. Uh, and I've just shared with this. Uh, and I think that it's like a social effect in this way. According for tourism and smart cities, it was, it's the young one project. I just realized it's in the previous year and I just made with my team, uh, the great webinar invited, um, it was near 40, 50 people who just started to promote tourism and how to develop tourism in their region. We just collect the ideas, then shared our own experience. It was like a networking collaborations. It was very amazing. Yeah, this is very, this very impressive, I must say. Uh, and can you tell, share us the journey of your uh, involvement with uh, One Young World? It's a, you know, like it's a, uh, like young people who are involved with so many different activities, it's a dream for them. To them, you know, like uh, uh, to join with this kind of, you know, uh, organization, it's huge. I mean, their network is uh, one of the highest uh, in the world as an organization uh, in terms of uh, young leadership uh, in their under one project, under one platform. So how did you uh, get yourself uh, involved with this organization? Uh, it was a great opportunity. It was happened, uh, I think it was happened four years ago when I just started my social career work, when I just, uh, it was came the idea uh, to implement the project, which name is Challenge. And after that, I've just made a lot of master classes and trainings and um, British Council uh, really support me and so uh, how I just working on that. And they um, get me this opportunity and support it they just paid for my traveling for my uh, accommodation um, and everything uh, to be for example on this big summit and um, on in 2019 i've just visited uh, one young world summit it was happened in london uh, it was a very great opportunity i just got a lot of uh, new contacts and collaborations now i'm working with them uh, I know uh, you just took before uh, the interview with Saida Ibrahimova. She worked as a coordinator of our region in One Young World platform. And she's really amazing person with different activities and emotions. And I really got this experience from these people, uh, how to make the social impact uh, and everything depends on us. It's really this summit changed my mind, <laughs> and I've, after that, I just really understood that I'm not alone. There are a lot of people around the world who are just doing the same um, projects, and they are just making the same impact. And you can do it, yeah, in different countries. And of course, we can collaborate because, for example, now we are just contacting by mobile phone <laughs> and internet, and. Everything is possible, I think. We can collaborate yeah. using <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, we phones. have the internet. Yeah, you, using your phone, you can do so many things. I mean, the thing that we are doing, you are living in Kazakhstan and <laughs> I'm in Dhaka, but we are doing something, you know, like trying to contribute yeah. uh, for the youth development, you know, 
like sharing the stories, the journeys, so that they can you know understand the importance of being involved involved with so many different organizations. So and the th that the thing that you said just uh, before it changed your your mind, you know, because you know this uh, it was it it was a, a impact on your mind on your perception that you know like so many people uh, it, it, it it's a network everyone is doing something positive and impactful in their community so you know it's a, it's a very positive network so what do you think about uh, always surround yourself by good people positive people what is uh, what is the importance of that mm. The main importance, what uh, people, for example, who are just around you, um, they should show, you should show them uh, as a sample what you should do, and you can motivate them to do the same things. And of course, it's everything depends what, who, uh, what is your surrounding, or what kind of people are near you, what can they can do, and how they can involve in your projects or you can help them. Um, I can share with my own experience before, um, maybe uh, I really changed my uh, people who are just around me. <laughs> they, um, for example, they uh, has another one mind. They said that everything depends on government or something else and we can, we can do this. Uh, but now I see that there are a lot of change makers around me, uh, not from uh, my city, my country. Uh, there are a lot of change makers around the world who are just making the same positive aspects and impact. And I see how we can all together, we can change everything. And uh, when you have the same friends as you are, for example, it's really help you to realize your own together goals. <laughs> it's really... Um, I, I I can't ex explain this because it's yeah. um, it's yeah, like I mean, your emotions and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you are it's, on one wave. You know, like you you want to uh, go a long way, go. You know, like not go, yeah, go alone. But you know, like you need a, a like-minded people to do something really big change uh, in your community and in, in in the world for the world. So. What do you think, you know, like uh, young people, you know, some of them here in Bangladesh, you know, some uh, young people, they're kind of frustrated because of, you know, because of the job sector and business sector is uh, because of COVID, you know, it has a ne negative impact on that uh, sector. So fourth industrial revolution is coming, knocking at the door, already happening in some uh, countries. What do you think that uh, as you, uh, have been working with uh, young people. What do you think the future future skills that uh, young people should develop and start working developing from right now? Uh, yeah, I agree with you that future is changing, and so we can see it uh, from the previous year and nowadays that uh, everything is digitalized, and we can use our smartphones, our websites, uh, how to promote it online. Uh, I think that um, before a lot of experts and researchers said that there will be the new era. It's like an era of robots, robotics or uh, digitalization. And uh, nobody of us just believe in that. We said, oh, it's impossible. But now we see that uh, the pandemic time uh, just show, shows us that uh, we can sit at home and work online and make um, the different um, projects and different work online and we can use digital tools. And first of all, you can um, be involved in different communities. You can um, award your um, professional skills like in digital sphere, like IT or SMM marketing in social media because it's very... Um, uh, important nowadays to use these kind of skills uh, in, if you are just working online in social media. Um, and of course, uh, you don't 
there will be some kind of professions that will go out from the market and there will be another one professions and don't think that uh, era of robotics will um, uh, t take our life or something else and we haven't got any wor work or jobs and um, it's not that and I see that that there are a lot of experts shows this they said that uh, you, sh you should grow up your professional skills every day. You should uh, just, it's not we are saying about education only in at school or university. We should say about, uh, how to say, uh, life learning or it's like a life continuous. Person. Yeah, <laughs> it's about, we are talking about continuous education. When we are, uh, every day we are learn something new. Because yeah, we, it, it, we use internet like, and everything. Yeah. You know, so some uh, some skills, some uh, information, some knowledge, it may be uh, last for two to three years. So, you know, human yeah. beings, they should continuously uh, evolve with the revolution and uh, continuously uh, make the improvement. Mm -hmm. so cool. And uh, I know you, you attended uh, recently uh, St. Petersburg Economic Forum. Uh, can you tell us about uh, what 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 was it about and what did you learn and what the young people uh, will learn if they can also join in the near future in this type of uh, summit? Uh, yeah, this forum is really amazing. It, it was my first time to be there. On the previous uh, week, I just um, visited this amazing forum uh, for the great initiative from Ross Congress and Ross Molodyosh. And also thanks a lot to international community, Friends for Leadership, who just invited me to, the, uh, to the, this event. Um, this uh, forum just um, taking part every, uh, every year and you can take a part to so just fill up the application form. And uh, there, uh, there are a lot of interesting projects, experts uh, from different sphere. I've just heard about digitalization, what kind of trends in education, in economic, uh, in, um, for example, in medicine is happening now. And of course, um, the first site is about networking, uh, new business partners. You can um, uh, promote your own project. Uh, you, you can be interviewed or just like a PR of your social project, how you can take a part in it. And also uh, there were a group of people who just joined uh, this forum uh, all together. And uh, we shared with our own experience and how we can collaborate with each other. There were people from Africa, from Europe, from Asia, from America. And it's really amazing to make this kind of collaboration. Yeah, that's true. Like, uh... When two uh, organizations work for the same goal, uh, have the same objective to solve the same problem or same issue, you know, it, it, it doubles the uh, execution rate and it can also, uh, you know, like uh, speed up the spirit of our own self. That's true. That's what we always try to do, you know, like this kind, this is a one-to-one uh, -one partnership. Like uh, you agree to, you know, share your, share your stories with us. So, you know, it's, it's a beneficial, beneficial for both you and me and the audience. So, yeah. Maya, you know, you have been doing so many things. You are doing your PhD, you are running your own social youth organization, and you're coordinating for different uh, youth organizations. So what is your dream? What, what, what do you want to be in the future? Um. My, my dream is uh, to launch and to be a founder of a big international company or organization uh, when uh, there will be a lot of uh, international uh, coordinators and I can work with UN and um, with Columbia University or other universities from different countries and we can make uh, some kind of collaboration and uh, can share uh, with our experience, with our uh, thoughts, how we can realize SDGs, of course. Um, and of course, after that, for example, after realizing SDGs, uh, I can continue my social project 
uh, on my research, on my PhD research. And I think that uh, if uh, I can make this kind of impact on the international area, I can help to my own uh, country uh, to say about Kazakhstan on the world arena and to say that we can um, promote tourism sector and uh, we, how we can collaborate with other countries this way. It's really my dream <laughs> to uh, meet all of young leaders uh, from different countries to make a speech and uh, a lot of questions just associated whom people you are just admire. I really admire uh, Angelina Jolie. She's like a person, not actress. She's a person from big heart who really help a lot of people from yes. Africa, from other countries. And I really want to be as she. <laughs> so that's, that's really amazing. That's really amazing. Uh, last question to you, Maya, which is how you manage your time? by doing so many activities, you know, you're doing your PhD. Oh, so far we know, you <laughs> know, it's very hard it's, to it's... make it possible. I uh, really, it's uh, one of my issues to uh, make a, like a time management. Um, first of all, I think uh, that I just visited a lot of master classes and trainings according for time management and how you can do this. Mm -hmm. First of all, you should concentrate on the first topic, for example, on the first place now to um, to get the PhD. So I should pay attention for that. And after that, I will do other projects. Um, if th there will be some kind of deadlines, uh, I should do it before this time. So you, you okay. set, uh, set some priority, you know, like uh, uh, your PhD yeah. is your first priority, then other is second priority. So prioritizing uh, our task or uh, is uh, is also a very good skill. But, uh, yeah, sure. We, we, we should know which one is our first priority and which one is our second and third and go on. So that's it. Uh, so Maya, thank you so much uh, for such an impressive session, informative session. Uh, we uh, learned a lot of things about uh, from you, and we believe from School of Entrepreneurship Development that our audience they also uh, have learned something new. Uh, from you and in future if you have any suggestion if you have any advice uh, for how we can you know like run some uh, projects uh, from school of entrepreneurship development please feel free to uh, uh, you know like send a, an email to us and also we will in future if there is any possibilities we will also collaborate uh, you know for our organization Thank you so much, Mabu, Mabu, and for your organization, for your support, and for your invitation for this kind of interview. It's really amazing, and it's just oh, one second interview, really. I just shared with my own emotions and experience, and I'm so happy that it will be very uh, great to others, and they will took some kind of points of that. Uh, thank you so much again, and of course, we can collaborate in the future. Thank you. Awesome. So, dear audience, uh... We hope uh, you, you enjoyed our session and please stay well, stay safe. Okay. Bye. Bye.